What is going on, my Super Saiyan, which is Ron here, and today I'm joined by Geekdom for some Dragon Ball Super Talk, as always. Uh, and today, we're actually going to be addressing something that happened this past weekend. So if you have not seen episode 50 of Dragon Ball Super, which at this point I'm pretty sure everybody has already seen, then we suggest you should skip this video. However, if you want to talk about the theories and everything that you might uh, be thinking about in regards to Goku Black or Black, whatever name preference you have, then feel free to stick around because we're going to discuss one specific theory that I've been seeing pop up so much and I basically want to give you my opinion on it as well as Geek Them's side as well and kind of dig really into what we believe is going on with the series thus far. So without further ado, Geek Them, are you ready for some Dragon Ball talk? Always, always ready. I can talk about this in my sleep and I have. I have. It's a medical condition. Yeah, I've actually woken up before where I like was recording in my own dreams and like talking in my dreams uh, and, and I would jump up like, oh, okay, I'm actually just still sleeping. So it very much happens very often, but sleep without further Dragon ado, Ball. Yeah. sleep YouTubing, sleep YouTubing. There you sleep go. Sleep YouTubing. No, the worst is when I'm sleeping or when I'm dreaming and I'm playing Dokkan in my dreams and I pull a cool card and I wake up like, oh, that didn't happen. That, you, that pull, you pull, you pull a Shampa or a Frost. They don't even exist. Uh, no, it's happened in my dreams. I pulled Dokkan cards before, and that's when you know you play too much Dokkan. But today we're specifically talking about uh, the the black stuff that happened this past weekend with Goku Black clutching his chest. Do you want to kind of break down what we're talking about? Well, yeah, I mean, the only real thing is that there were a couple scenes in Dragon Ball Super Episode 50 where Goku Black is holding his chest. And right. uh, it was right after the fight with uh, Goku, not Black. I'm not going to call him Goku White because that's weird. Uh, Goku Asian? No. Goku. To, regular just go Goku. Let's just say Goku regular. and Black. We'll just say Goku and Black to they, kind of they, keep it. Yeah. yeah. Goku, so we just no tongue twisters, but yeah. Pretty much um, what happened was, you know, after the fight, we discovered from the episode that the time ring... Uh, Trunks' time distortion from when he went back in time with Time Machine triggered the time ring to allow Black to follow him. But the time ring without Trunks creating that vortex could not go back in time. There's a video on my channel with Herms that I did where we broke down all of this in more explicit detail. But pretty much what happened was as the vortex was closing, the fight had to be put to an abrupt halt. And Black, you know, went back to the future. But he was holding his chest. And as a result of that, because one thing about our community... Is that we have a lot of really smart people, and I'll be perfectly honest with you about this. I think a lot of the commenters, uh, people who subscribe to you and to me, are kind of too smart for their own good. Like some of you guys are really, really intelligent for your own good, in that I think that you take little things and you overanalyze and you break them down. And a lot of the ideas are great ideas, but they're almost too great for Dragon Ball. I hate saying that, but like, some of Real to Real's ideas and some of the commenters I've seen are just these great ideas that I tell them, like, look, you guys should do your own manga with how creative it is. Um, but when you look at how Toriyama writes, he's a very simple writer, so right. it may not be the case. So essentially the idea I'm referring to is the idea that Black is either – there's a couple different things I've heard. One is that he is – a being that took over Goku's corpse after he died in the future timeline and it still has the heart virus inside of him or another theory a, a, more, a crazier theory I think which actually I think is kind of brilliant is that the heart virus itself manifests Invested into a physical form. In other words, the heart virus took control of the body, and Black actually is the heart virus. Now, I don't believe this myself, but that's such creative shit that if you if you came up with that, like I'm kind of impressed. Like again, it's almost too smart for even Toriyama. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, what I was gonna say is, you know, a lot of people basically mentioned this past weekend on my in my comments and on Twitter saying that Me too. He's, he's clenching his heart. He has a heart virus. This has to be Goku's body. And I will toss out this: it is a really, really good theory. If in fact, if this actually happens, I would not be surprised. Mostly because if you paid attention to his arc so far, there were a lot of moments that. Uh, brought up a lot of easter eggs we saw trunks a time machine we saw trunks being surprised that goku was even alive like there's a lot of key details the, the that ring that looks like a time breaker ring yes there's a lot of details in there where toriyama doesn't necessarily like because toriyama's notorious for not remembering his own stuff and there's a lot of stuff that i was actually shocked to see toriyama actually remembered and write into the story so with that said if he actually writes the heart virus into black story it will be amazing however something else that people have not really paid attention to is the main reason why Black could have been high, uh, clenching his chest is due to the fact that Goku just kind of drilled him in there. Yes. Geek, let me ask you a question. 
Have you ever been punched in the chest before? Well, in my Dragon Ball Super Episode 50 review, I talked about this. Uh, and I'll go into it real quick. Is that uh, when you get hit in the body, not just the chest, but also your stomach, your, your rib cage, it's actually worse than getting hit in the face. If you're in a fight and you get hit in the jaw, you get knocked out, you're knocked out. That's right. That's bad. You come back up in a few, you know, a few minutes, maybe even a couple hours if you get hit really hard. But uh-huh. if you get hit in the body, specifically the kidneys, the liver, or the chest... You might be pissing blood. Sorry to get graphic on you, but you might be. You might have a ruptured kidney, a ruptured liver. Or you, right. You might, you know. So, yes, during the fight, Goku purposely attacked Black in the body. And that's a, a body blows in Dragon Ball have always been very fascinating to me. Because if you notice, Gohan did a great uppercut to sell. Vegeta did a great uppercut to sell. And then, of course, I broke down a video a long time ago about Goku versus Frieza on Namek. Goku hit Frieza with a beautiful uppercut to the gut, as well as in Resurrection at the movie, the Bruce Lee one-inch punch. So, yes, body blows are important, and it totally makes even more sense that Black was holding his chest because of how hard Goku hit him. It makes, yeah. It's the, the easiest solution is usually the, the best one. Correct. Now, again, that's not to say that the heart virus thing is completely ridiculous because based on what we've seen so far in this arc, there's a lot of references to the past. Like I said, we saw yeah, the, yeah. the cell time machine come back, that one that cell stole from the future future when he killed Trunks and then traveled back to the past. We saw that time machine come back. I mean, we also, s- also, just real quick to throw this one in there. The, uh-huh. the reason why I don't think it holds up is because, number one, uh, why would Black be suffering the effects of the heart virus now? Uh, that's number one. Why is it now and not before? Or And number two is the only way for it to be Goku's actual corpse is if it was actually possessed when... Way back when Goku had originally died because, of course, bodies decompose. You don't keep your skin when you die. You become a skeleton because your body, your skin melts away. Uh, now, some people are probably wondering, well, what about when Kami, when Goku died the first time and Kami took him to the other world? Well, that was different because this heart virus death was natural causes. Goku died like a regular person well, Actually, dies. let me ask you a question about that. They never kind of address dying naturally as uh, whether or not you get to go into the into the other only world. one that did it was like uh, Saichuro or Guru the uh, El- remember he disappeared yeah yeah I mean so, you do go to the other world but you don't it wasn't like before where Kami purposely preserved Goku's body but keep in mind that the the way death works also has a lot of plot holes because when Goku died during the cell fight. His soul should have gone to the check-in station, and it wasn't. It was with Kai, and right. that was a plot hole. That was a mistake by Toriyama, so it could be that as well. I mean, honestly, when it comes down to that, what I could see a possible theory is maybe when Goku did die in the future from the heart virus, his body did stay, but his rules were, hey, you can't talk to so-and-so. Because obviously when Goku died in the main timeline, he was still able to talk to the people on Earth during certain circumstances, like when he was able to come back to life or when he was talking to uh, Gohan when he was fighting Cell. Yeah. There, were, there were some kind of weird circumstances using King Kai. Yeah. But what yeah. I think could have happened is, is we'll find out in like two or three weeks, that if this indeed is Goku's body and he has a heart... But well, first of all, it wouldn't even make sense because if this is his heart... If this is his body... Why would his heart virus still be active, even if it's dead? I, I, That's I what I'm saying. The only thing that would make sense is that shortly after Goku died in the Future Trunks timeline, this mysterious black, the real black, not Goku, the real being, which has not been revealed to us yet, it might be Zamasu, might not be, mm-hmm. possessed the body and didn't realize the heart virus is still there. But then, of course, the, that begs the question... Why did it take so long for it to kick in? And that's exactly. why, even though it's a great theory, it doesn't hold weight unless they give it a good explanation. That's the thing about a lot of the theories. I think I've, mm-hmm. I, uh, some people think that you and me and some other YouTubers kind of criticize these theories. The theories are not horrible theories, but there's no, not I enough like evidence. This one. I yeah, like but there's this just one. not if enough they, evidence yet. If yeah. they bring up the fact that the heart virus is inside Black's body, it would be a cool Easter egg just to the past. Because, like I said, they brought up a lot in the past. Yeah, that if it's I didn't the same think, body. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think they would do in this arc so far. So if it ends up being the hard virus, I would not be surprised. I'm just saying that in this specific circumstance, I think the reason why he was clenching his chest is because he got kicked in it. That's I mean, right. he just took a huge L, and it was kind of revealed that Black, as of right now, isn't really that powerful. But he does have a lot of potential from what they made it sound like. So I'm sure whatever he is, whatever kind of being he is, uh, we'll get more inside of what makes him so especially unique because obviously he's more powerful than Trunks but when you toss him against someone's like 
no Go- Super Saiyan Vegeta God. Vegeta himself said he he's no match for me and Goku. Yeah. He said, but, and he's definitely no match for a Beerus. So. Right. I mean, yeah. the interesting part was he knew who Beerus was, and to know yes. about the gods yes. of destruction, you have to be somebody. And, and even who both Vegeta Whis, was. even Whis reveals that you know that is a Kaioshin ring, so he has something to do with the afterlife, something to do with that side of the universe and the side of the Dragon Ball. That's obviously going to get discovered later. But for now, I just kind of want to toss out this video just to say, yes, he was clutching his chest, but it was more be- more likely because he got literally just punched in it. If you want to test it, go punch your little brother in the chest. Actually, don't do this. No, no, no but if you want to test it, like, you know, just just do this. Just punch yourself in the chest, and you'll see, like, you'll hurt. <laughs> you'll probably hold it, too. Yes, and- getting, hit, getting hit in the body is very painful, especially the liver. If you ever get hit in the liver, you will be feeling pain all night. So if yeah. you're out there... And, and you're fighting somebody, protect your liver, okay? Because it's going <laughs> to yeah. hurt. I promise you. I fucking pro- I, I freak it. Sorry for cursing. I promise you that. Yeah. With that said, uh, let us know uh, your thoughts on the whole heart clutching thing or chest clutching thing. Actually, let's make this into a fun discussion. Why was Black clutching his chest? Think What's the funniest commentary you could do about that? Post in the comment section below. He had heartburn from Chipotle. I don't know. Uh, I figured we can have a little fun little, you know, comment game right here because those who made it this far in the video if you made it this far comment the funniest uh theory you have as to why black was clenching his chest and also if you have real ones say oh by the way my real theory is actually xyz in which case share that in the comment section below yeah, but geek yeah. them anything else no like i was saying a lot of the theories are good theories but you have to look at it from the mind of toriyama and understand that this is a show targeted for young males, um, you know, so they're not going to put, like, you're not going to get, like, Doctor Who-esque kind of storylines here. Um, Dragon Ball can be very complex, but on the surface, it's not. So keep the theories coming. Just remember that it might be a good idea, but this is Dragon Ball, and it's never going to be that complicated. It's not going to end up being that complicated, but it is a good theory. We just need more evidence. That's all I'm saying. Right. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday is coming pretty soon. It's like three or four days away. And obviously, uh, we probably won't have more details on Black just quite yet. But I know based on the episode titles leaked a couple days ago, we will get the true identity of Black very, very soon. And when that happens, of course, both Geek and myself oh, will do videos. I'm, I'm sure the whole community will make videos about it. So just keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, feel free to share your best theories in the comment section below. Anyway, so you're high for super. Make sure you leave a like down below. And anything else we talked about, I guess we'll see you guys in the comment section down there. Uh, other than that, you guys enjoy us today. My name is Rhyme Style on Geekdom. And we'll see you guys in the comment section below. Bye.